Hi, I'm Maureen LeClerc from the Technical Service Team, and I'm here today to show you a frequently asked question that we get in tech service. How do I set up my multi-screen HTS vacuum manifold and test to ensure that the vacuum works properly? Push the coupling insert on the end of the four-way connector into the quick disconnect fitting on the manifold base until it clicks into place. Then push the coupling insert on the end of the vacuum control valve tubing into the quick disconnect fitting on the shorter arm of the four-way connector. Push the coupling insert on the end of the vacuum gauge tubing into the quick disconnect fitting on the longer arm of the four-way connector. Then you need to connect the vacuum source to the vacuum manifold using the tubing provided. Make sure you use a vacuum trap flask and a Milex FA filter in the vacuum line to protect the vacuum source from potential contamination. Now we'll show you an easy test that you can do to make sure that the vacuum is set up correctly. Turn the vacuum control down to cover the color bands. This will close the valve to get maximum vacuum. Turn the on-off valve closed. Now turn on the vacuum source to maximum. Put the manifold collar on the base and then put a standard solid bottom collection plate on the manifold collar. Turn the on-off valve to the open position. The plate should seal within a minute. You should be able to pick up the plate and have the manifold lift off the bench as well. This illustrates that the vacuum manifold is functioning as expected. I hope you found this video useful, and if you'd like to support us, please like, share, or subscribe on YouTube, and let us know if you have any comments or questions below.